muzzle loader hunt. Haven't seen anything all day. So I uh, thought I'd do a video review on this backpack. It's the Sojourn by Frost River. So stay with me, let me get the camera set up and we'll uh, get into it. Ed, top of line train. Alright guys, Ed back with you, top of line training. Got to excuse, uh, excuse me, my mouth is, or my face is frozen, so I'm slurring my words a little bit. But anyway, this is the Frost River Sojourn uh, pack. You could definitely do a couple days, two, three days on this, in this pack, with this pack. Have to make some modifications. If you look at Canterbury's, uh, Dave Canterbury's uh, video on the the loose scout pack. He takes some rings and connects here or puts the rings on here and then you can connect a bedroll of whatever fashion you want whatever type you want on the bottom of the pack. You could also add another small pack onto that if you wanted to in the same configuration just to give you a little bit more room but just this by itself with the bedroll you got a lot of space in here I'm not sure the cubic inch I can't remember I want to say it was like a about 14 1500 cubic inch it's made out of wax canvas brass buckles here got the roller uh, on it makes them run real smooth leather straps real nice pack and uh, I've used it quite a bit on and off it's really really good for like a day pack a day use you're coming out on a scout you're coming out on a hunt uh, throw a little bit of food a little bit of essentials in here you're set uh, you don't necessarily always need uh, to bring a big heavy pack full of stuff that you're never going to use uh, so you know I'm trying to do that, stick with that concept. Sometimes it's hard though. You want to take certain things plus camera gear and all that. It it, it uh, takes away a lot of space real quick. But anyway, like I said, it's made out of wax canvas. It's got a, a basically, uh, I want to say this is some kind of cotton, maybe meshed with nylon uh, uh, shoulder straps. Of course, it goes into leather, riveted on here, made top of the line, guys. Uh, riveted at the top as well. And that's basically it. You know, you got a small carrying handle. Also, you could hang that on a hook or a tree limb uh, so keep it off the ground. Got the Frost, liver, uh, Frost River logo right here. I'm always looking around just in case a deer may happen to walk by. However, my muzzle loaders about 20 yards away so I don't know if that would work out or not but anyway uh, so anyway let's get to the pack I, I don't have much in it I do have a haversack with me as well and I got a lot of gear in there as well Th this with a haversack really uh, will fit your needs pretty well um, I'll show you my full loadout kit here in a minute but alright guys here's uh, the sort of loadout I just wanted to show you Got uh, a haversack, Pathfinder. It's a great piece of kit, really nice. Got the uh, Pathfinder water uh, cook stove, water bottle, cup set up in here with other, like an extra fire kit, other things like that. And I got the Frost River Sojourn pack on the back. Really for a scout, a day hike, uh, a day hunt, or even a couple days hunt, or just on a regular hunt, uh, this is more than enough. I can carry all kind of 
uh, different pieces of equipment uh, in all of this. Minute, but this right here basically made for, or I use it for carrying the bigger stuff. If you haven't seen my review on the Gransford Brooks small forward axe, check it out. It's just an out of the box. I will be doing a demo with this and uh, uh, put it to the test here in a little bit. But I got the Gransford Brooks in there. Got a couple rubber gloves, just in case I get anything, plus a uh, piece of cotton. Got a, re a reusable space blanket. Really, guys, shouldn't, uh, at minimal, you should be going to the woods with something like this. I've got a uh, garbage bag down here as well that I carry in here. And I was using that for my knees, but it didn't take long to get cold, so. <clears throat> um, and that's all I got on this back, so I'm gonna take that back. I got the Mike Wallace Colossus as a backup blade. Got a couple tent stakes. I got a bag, That's my other rubber glove. Got a pair of chopsticks as well. I might be using chopsticks if I can. Of course I could make them, but just happen to have a pair. Anyway, this is a bag full of uh, tender. And that's really all I have in here right now. But like I said, I'll take that back. Uh, let me go, uh, okay, let me break this inside of the pack down real quick. Basically, you have one big, let me get up so you can see this. Basically, you have one big opening. Hope you can see that okay. Then you have a divider that you can slide things in the back, but often I find what ends up happening, sometimes this will slide up like so, and then this will become your main pack. Either way, you got basically a big opening that's divided. But you know, this, like I said, this is where I had my uh, reusable space blanket at, shoved down there. I like to take flat items like that and slide down there. But in here, and like I said, you got the whole big area. And I hold, that will hold quite a lot. If you've ever used a haversack, just your basic, like I have a Pathfinder haversack, you just use that. You can really get a lot of stuff down in there. Basically, and the way I look at this is, it's sort of like a big ass haversack. It's got uh, uh, shoulder straps on it. But anyway, over here in the front, you have a small zippered pouch. And uh, in there, I've got a couple of hand warmers. Got some uh, Tylenol or Motrin. Nasal spray. Um, ink pen. Uh, Olight, I believe this is uh, T10 or T20. T20. Real nice light, and then I got a couple of batteries for it, backups. And that's all I have in here right now. Uh, I don't have it heavily loaded out. Like I said, I have a haversack that um, I've got a lot of gear in, and uh, so I've been using that more so. But I just brought this down today to do a review on it, but it's really nice pack um, it's made I want to say I never seen a Duluth uh, hold on one sec guys I never seen a Duluth uh, scout pack or anything like that but just from, from all the pictures and everything and videos that I've seen this is pretty much the same exact thing set up the same way small pocket on the inside divider pocket or the big uh, that divides the main uh, main uh, area there and uh, that's it now 
one thing I would have liked to seen, and I may do this mod, I don't know. Let's go ahead and put a, another piece of material right here with a zipper. So you could put like maps and papers and things like that up in here. Small, real small items. Just for help for a little, little organization. But mainly if you get a few pouches, example, if you haven't seen my video on the um, Kafaru uh, pullouts, a couple of those in here with some things, uh, a few clothes, you know, a few two extra tools, maybe a Baco saw, things like that. I mean, you know, you're pretty much set. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on the uh, Cross River Sojourn Pack. And if you don't know what Sojourn means, it means a short stay. So, basically, you have a pack that, uh, you know, carries some essentials, maybe a couple extra little items uh, that you may need. And, you know, you're going to do a short stay, one, two day hike, one, two day night in the woods you know one t two day visit somewhere whatever it's just you could use this definitely uh, uh, going to as a day pack whatever have you I've used it several times I've had this for a long while now probably three years going on three years and I've used it uh, as an EDC bag uh, to work as well so you know it doesn't necessarily always have to be bushcraft or something in the woods short like I said a short stay short hike long hike whatever you want to do thing about it is it's another good thing about it is um it's about like I said it's about 13 to 1500 cubic inch don't quote me on that go to the Frost River web website and my face is frozen uh, go to the F Frost River website and uh, get all the specs on it there but um, like I was saying, you know, it's this size, and so you can only put so much stuff in it. Another thing that I have done before is I've loaded it up, and then I have put like a bedroll in the top here, or a jacket, and rolled it down on it to secure it in. That's another thing. But, you know, it's only so big, so you're only going to take really the items that you really need. And I, like I said, I have a haversack that I use with this, and really I'm not... I'm really only walking around with maybe 15 pounds of gear versus maybe 25 to 30 pounds and half the time you don't end up using half of it anyway. So, you know, if you don't have one of these, you might want to think about it. Either way, this is, like I said, this is the Frost River. I'm sure the Duluth is good as well, uh, but uh, I just happened to get the Frost River. It's a little cheaper, a little easy on the pocket. so. Either way, however you want to look at it. All right, guys, this is Ed, Top of the Line Train. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, pass this along. As well, if you haven't entered the 1,000 subscriber giveaway, make sure you do that. Go over to my channel, or get on my channel, go to that video, 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and um, make sure you follow the uh, rules, if you will, of what you have to do. And it's very, very, very easy, very simple. And I got uh, several nice prizes, actually four prizes right now, that I'm going to give away. Uh, January 31st is the plan. Like I say again, I really need your help in passing the word, getting this channel out. I'm trying to build it. I've had it for a long while now. It should be a hell of a lot more uh, subscribers and such where, where than where I'm at. But, you know, I've had some things in my... Uh, life here I've, I've moved like four or five times in the past two years and a few other things so you know whatever that's where I'm at and I want to move forward so I can only do that with your help so please share and again like subscribe till the next one guys is that top of line training we'll see you then God bless take care